not making people confused so the rule of thumb i always follow for my high porosity hair is once your hair feels dry it is time to moisturize your hair and once your hair feels weak it is time for protein treatment i found peace in your violence can't tell me there's no point in hi guys hi beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here my name is akune kamsi and i'm a content creator based in abuja and if you're not new here you're very much welcome back to the channel so in today's video we're going to be talking about the basic tips in taking care of high porosity hair so high porosity hair is a very delicate and very tricky hair to take care of so before we go into the tips on how to take care of high porosity hair let's briefly talk about hair porosity hair porosity is simply the ability of your hair to absorb or hold in moisture it is an indicator that shows how moisture penetrates into your hair strand so there are three types of hair porosity we have low hair porosity we have medium hair porosity and we have high hair porosity so in today's video we're basically talking about high hair porosity so high porosity hair is a hair that easily absorbs moisture so your hair absorbs moisture that means your hair gets wet easily so when you pour water on your hair your hair gets wet easily but the bad thing about high porosity hair is that your hair does not retain moisture so the way your hair take up moisture is the same way your hair gives out the moisture and the reason for this it has to do with the structure of your hair strand so the outermost layer of your hair which is the cuticle most times are far apart and when they are far apart your hair is always highly porous so your hair can actually take in the moisture obviously because the cuticle is open they are far apart the problem with this is that since the cuticle is always open your hair also gives out this moisture so with high porosity hair you you grab the moisture but you cannot hold the moisture so the causes of high porosity hair it could be genetic that means meaning you were born that way that's how your hair is or it could be self-inflicting which you made your hair to be high porosity and the things that can make your hair to be high porosity is applying so much chemicals too much straightening of your hair too much blow drying of your hair too much using of heat products on your hair bleaching your hair these make your hair to be high porosity and negative things that come with high porosity hair which is your hair is prone to breakage your hair is very frizzy your hair looks and feels dry always have dull hair strands your hair does not doesn't look shiny and your hair tangles easily so with that said and done let's now go into the tips of how to take care of high porosity hair so that you can combat all the side effects or the negative things about high porosity hair the tip number one which is pre pooing your hair pre poo is a must so pre poo is a great way to restore moisture and vitality back to your hair and also pre poo also help in detangling your hair so pre poo is always done before shampooing your hair so pre poo is like the first step you are going to do before you shampoo your hair so there are different types of pre poo the first pre poo which i recommend the most is hot oil treatment Hot oil treatment is using moisturizing oil like avocado oil, argan oil, olive, coconut, or almond oil. So you're going to heat those oil and you will apply them into your scalp. Another people you could use is aloe vera. You could use shea butter and mango butter people. You could also use DIY people using flex seed or fenugreek seed to apply on your hair now these pre poo are meant to be left overnight so let's say if you do the pre poo today you're meant to leave it sleep over with it and the next day you will now wash your hair so if you notice when you do pre poo with your high porosity hair there is moisture retention not only first you're going to be detangling your hair you're going to be retaining moisture into your hair so pre poo is a must for high porosity hair so tip number two is protein treatment is a must for high porosity hair you must always always do a protein treatment on your hair or apply a protein treatment on your hair this protein treatment or these proteins act as fillers 
for your hair strands like we talked about your the cuticle that's the outermost layer of your hair strands are wider parts are far apart so this these proteins act as fillers for those places that are far apart so they like blockage they are, they act like a blockage on those places that are far apart and which will make your hair to retain moisture what make what like i explained initially the main reason of your hair losing moisture is that this corticals are far apart so when these proteins are there so they fill those open or far apart spaces which in turn make your hair to retain moisture this protein treatment also strengthens your hair prevent excessive breakage of your hair and also they also enhance the appearance of your hair so example of protein treatment you can use on your hair is vitalis hair mayonnaise ors hair mayonnaise afro g two-step protein treatment Share moisture protein treatment, Olex Pix protein treatment, and you can also do DIY protein treatment on your hair. I have one on my channel, so you can check out that one. When it comes to protein treatment, it is important to listen to your hair needs. So for me personally, I would advise you to do your protein treatment once every two to three months. Tip number three is use of moisturizing deep conditioner emphasis on moisturizing moisturizing deep conditioner for high porosity hair is a must we can't even argue about it moisturizing deep conditioner helps to replenish moisture and also repair damaged hair one tricky thing with high porosity hair you must be able to balance between moisture and protein the previous thing i said you have to listen to the needs of your hair now what me i personally do is that for this my wash day i'm using moisturizing deep conditioner then the next wash day i'm going to be using a protein treatment to balance the protein and moisture on my hair when you apply your deep conditioner or your protein treatment please ensure to use a, a, a steaming cap over that product so this just makes the product penetrate into your hair strand to make people confused so the rule of thumb i always follow for my high porosity hair is once your hair feels dry it is time to moisturize your hair so it's time to apply a deep moisturizing conditioner or any moisturizing product on your hair and once your hair feels weak it is time for protein treatment so the fourth tip for high porosity hair is using the lco method which is simply leave-in conditioners cream and oil so this should be the way you should apply your hair products on your hair so you have to go in with leave-in first creams then oil always up for heavy and thick hair products like thick creams butters rich leave-in oils like castor oil jojoba oil almond oil it is these products are very very important for high porosity hair so even if you want to use gel like if you want to do your wash and goes and you're going to be applying gel on your hair the gel should come last in this arrangement so that your hair does not become hard frizzy and crunchy this manner lco then probably gel so that your hair doesn't become hard and crunch so the tip number five for high porosity hair is avoid using hot water to wash your hair so the thing about hot water is that hot water tends to open up the cortical of your hair your cortical of your hair strands are already open so you don't need hot water to open it up more and again the thing about hot water is that hot water also strip out all the moisture from your hair and this is not what you need for your hair you need to retain moisture as possible as you can so hot water should not be your go-to when washing your hair so up for cold water when washing your hair. The benefit of using cold water over hot water is that cold water will help to close your cortical so please up for cold water while washing your hair against hot water which is going to open up your cortical cold water is going to close up the cortical on your hair strand so tip number six avoid excessive use of heat slash chemicals on your hair like we all know high porosity hair is very susceptible to heat damage 
So avoid using straighteners, blow drying your hair very often. Chemicals like dialing your hair, please avoid using them often. So if you must even use this um, heat, like use your hair dryers, your blow dryers, your straighteners, please endeavor to use heat protectant on your hair. So this heat product or chemical product can damage your hair furthermore preventing your hair strands from retaining moisture and nutrients into your hair so please endeavor to reduce excessive use of heat on your hair or even chemical like dye and relaxers yes dye relaxers reduce the use of this product on your hair tip number seven always apply your hair products on wet hair never ever apply hair products on dry hair water is moisture and high porosity hair needs moisture so make sure you apply your styling products on wet hair this just enables the styling product to penetrate into your hair strands please never apply any of your styling products on a dry hair always ensure your hair is properly wet before applying any product on your hair this just ensures that the product penetrates into your hair strands tip number eight is apply your hair product in section working in section is very important for high porosity hair to ensure that all the moisture gets into your hair because when you apply your styling product at once on your hair some of your hair gets this product gets this moisture why some would not get this moisture and this is not what you want for your hair working in sections help for more penetration of your hair product into your hair strands so if you have high porosity hair please ensure to work in section so that the product or the styling product you're using can penetrate into your hair properly so don't come and be applying product generally work in section so moisture can absorb and retain into your hair so that every part of your hair can be moisturized can absorb moisture properly tip number nine use of products with mucilage the use of mucilage like flat seeds chia seeds aloe vera sleepy i'm this mucilage stick onto and coat your hair strands so by them sticking onto you and coating your hair strands there is moisture retention tip number 10 with high porosity hair is gentle handling of your hair high porosity hair is typically weak and very fragile so it is very easy for high porosity hair to break and also tango so it is advisable to be very gentle with your hair once you have high porosity hair try as much as possible to be very very gentle with your hair so the first thing is avoid pulling on your hair strands as much as possible so when detangling your hair always work from the tip start detangling your hair from the tip and work your way up this will just prevent breakage of your hair switch to satin hair ties these are more gentle as they don't rip your hair and break your hair make sure that your braids are not so tight because tight braids will cause breakage on your high porosity hair and the last thing is always put your hair in protective styles this will prevent tension on your hair and also prevent tangling of your hair the last tip for high porosity hair is avoid excessive usage of harsh products on your hair clarifying shampoos baking soda rinse shampoos with paraben and sulfate these products can be very harsh and drying to your hair apple cider rings are far better than baking soda rings for high porosity hair so if you have high porosity hair opt for apple cider rings 
rather than using baking soda rinse on your hair so clarifying shampoos or shampoos with sulfate should not be used all the time on your hair so these shampoos should be used once in a month to just clarify your hair but you should opt for moisturizing shampoos or shampoos which are free from sulfate so sulfate free shampoos are very or moisturizing shampoos are very very good for high porosity hair so this comes to the conclusion of this video if you found this video very helpful please don't forget to give me a thumbs up please subscribe please hit the notification bell to know when next i post my next video if you have any question concerning this video please don't forget to leave it in the comment section i'll be there to answer all your question and i will see you guys in my next one i love you so much bye Room 2110, I knocked on the door at the penthouse suite Cause I needed more from you